She was very amazing. She enjoyed, since she was little, enjoyed going to school, learning, playing sports, and making friends, yeah. Being around her family. She enjoyed doing a lot of things. Hanging out with her sisters and friends, going to the beach. She was 16, she would have been 17. She went to four high schools. She, that's how much she loved school. She didn't want to, even though we moved around, because I had a house for nine years and getting kicked out through domestic violence, through the three th strikes, disruptive behaviour, ended up being homeless for four years and getting kicked out for domestic violence. I had um, an old DCP there, and they said, you and your kids will not be homeless, or, you know. If you get kicked out of here, we'll help you. And when I needed help, I went and seen them and everything. They wouldn't even help us. I ended up getting my three babies taken off me through DCP because I ended up with an addiction of meth, where I had to, went to rehab for 14 months to get my kids back when I got out. In October last year, and that was a beautiful house, and my daughter, Avenue, sisters and mother were back together because she was out here on her own because she was too, too old to come there. And, um, but she stayed at school and everything, you know. But um, yeah, she was very happy when we got back together last year. Very difficult because when she left, she took a big part of me with her. I don't feel the same anymore. But I'm staying strong for my babies, so I'm glad I got my three babies. I would have felt pregnant at the same time she passed away. So, that's why I'm happy in a way too, because in our culture and everything, it's like she's living again, you know? Thanks to me and Megan's first cousin, they giving me the number to bring Megan and yeah. She's my big way to support me, so thank you. She knows that I always loved the way she sang, so I always play her music and then I can picture her singing it.